Trading Monkey, day trading live this morning on stock MTP. Pre market to market open, all the action live. Let me give you a couple of highlights about this stock. Yesterday, this stock closed at $2.25. So far this morning, pre market is gapped up to a high of $3.05. It's 9.29.50 seconds. As soon as I press the play button, we'll see all the action live. No fast forward, no rewind. Like always, there's my one minute chart, five minute chart, 15 minute chart, level two time, and sales. Stock MTP. What can I say about this stock? I love this stock. I love the way it moves. How it moves with this much volume, I put this stock on my two trade list. Anytime this stock comes, I'm going to trade this stock. If the volume's right and all these other aspects anyway. But anyways, I took one trade today. One winner. One winner. I've been getting more winners over and over and over again. So that tells me I am learning, but I'm still in the beginning stages of day trading. So I'm working my way to my $1 million. Let's get right to the X. Click 51, 52. The market's going to open like five seconds. I wait the first 30 seconds or so. See what's really happening here. Here we go. Look at it. Volume's coming in. Market's open. Boom, boom, boom. Look at boom, boom, boom. I have a support and resistance line around 313. That's a daily support and resistance line. That's super valid to me. So I was waiting for a washout at the open. Or if it's going to start going up, I'm going to buy the dip, sell the rip. I take my first and only trade at 931 and 13 seconds. So in about 45 seconds, you'll see me take my trade. Look at that long wick. Boom, boom, boom. It shot up. Came straight back down. Caught its feet right at $3. Boom, boom, boom. Look at that thing. Beautiful. I love the time and sells. The level two. This stock. The way this stock moves is n nice. I love the way this stock moves. Even though it's moving super fast. Right at, look at, boom, 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 boom. All the way up to 325. What I'm looking for now is a little pullback. I'm going to get in as close to 313 as I can. That's what I'm kind of starting to look for. I'm waiting for the first minute to close in about first 10 or so seconds. So here it goes. Boom, boom, boom. I'm going to take my trade in about seven seconds. So I'm seeing it hang out. It's coming down. It's coming down right in that daily support. So I press the buy. I buy 300 shares at 312. But I bought a little bit early. I should have waited down by the three dollars, but that's okay. That's okay. You can't get in right at the bottom. So I'm waiting. I'm being a little bit patient. I'm trying to get out between three three dollars and three twenty five. Up towards three twenty five is the high of day. Boom, boom, boom. I see it. It's starting to push a little bit. Starting to push. Boom! I sell my shares right there. I wanted to sell them at three twenty, but I sold them at three seventeen for plus five cents. That's a green trade. It's a green trade. One thing I really have to work on is holding my winners longer and letting my trades work for me. I had a good entry, a great entry, and I knew my daily support resistance. My risk was down towards three dollars, so. I should have put my hard stop in and waited. Look at this thing. Boom, boom, boom. It's about to bust high a day now. High a day break. High a day break. High a day break. High alert. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> this stock. I love this stock. So I wait. after I took my first trade, sometimes I freeze and get frozen. And I did get frozen a little bit. But I was looking for a little pullback trying to find out where am I get, going to get in? What am I going to do? My next daily support and resistance level was at 409. So I'm going, okay, between 313 and 409, there's some profit to be made in there. I need to be looking for another trade if it can hold above the 313. That's what I'm thinking going through my head. And I see a setup around 937 is my drop fake and pop boom and it doesn't get down just low i was right on the edge of clicking the button we're going to see it here live watch the level two the time and sells and the charts there's so much valuable learning experience if you want to trade a stock this is how stocks are supposed to move or this is what i think i'm a new trader who what do i know what do i know <laughs> I'm sure I'm not teaching nothing. The charts will teach you. The time and sales will teach you. The level two will teach you. Watch it, watch it, watch it. Boom, boom, boom. I was so happy with my green trade though. If I, I should have held on a little bit longer. I had a great entry. My exits, I got to really work on them. I was talking to my friend yesterday and I was telling him that uh, 
I'm going to start putting a hard stop in so I can let my winners ride a little bit longer. If I put a hard stop, it won't make me exit my trade so fast and I'll get more towards my profit target. I knew this had potential to go up towards 409, at least 350. I should have been looking towards even close to 350. I don't know. It's all a learning experience for me, but just watch this. Boom, boom, boom. So it's got to a high of 347. It got right up there and then came right back down. It's doing a little pullback. So this is what I consider a little range between 347 and about 313 or 323 is a good little range right there. And there's enough profit to be made. So I should have been looking to get in right down here towards the 330s maybe and got profit up towards 340s. Sometimes you can get in and out of trades over and over and over again. Look at this thing, boom, boom, boom. The shorts kind of wait. I think they wait until they see an, like an exhaustion candle or something like that, make a lower high, or when the stock's running up like this, boom, boom, boom. They're a little bit sketchy to jump on on the short side. Some of them jump on the short when the momentum's going this fast just to catch those quick down spikes, pullbacks and stuff. So you just really got to pay attention to where you're buying, where you're selling at. I'm telling myself this. This is all this stuff I'm talking about. I'm telling myself this. And if you're listening to me, you're hearing it also. So take whatever words I'm saying whatever you want to take with you and leave the rest behind it doesn't really matter but anyways this stock i boom 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 i love this stock look at that boom 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 it has support around the 330s resistance around the 350s 330 to 350 right there some money to be made look on my five minute chart on my five minute chart this is how my drop fake and pop boom strategy comes in you see that VWAP is the purple line on my five minute chart. Sometimes this is the perfect drop fake and pop boom. You see on my one minute chart, there's support around 330. So the drop fake and pop boom, if you don't know it, I have a video about it, you can watch it, but it will come down, boom, do a drop fake. And it's usually on the five minute chart, the drop fake will be down towards the VWAP. Am I even making sense? I don't know, just watch, <laughs> watch the stock, I'm sorry. I'm so excited today the stock market sometimes it's real slow sometimes it's real fast it's just sometimes there's great stock sometimes there's not but it's just you just got to be prepared and ready to go you got to have your suitcase packed on the floor and ready to get out the door in a heartbeat in a heartbeat you just got to be ready to go so look at this support resistance around the 330s and this is where my drop fake and pop boom comes look at boom 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 it will usually come down to another support resistance level i was trying to get i wanted to buy down towards the 313 if it could do my drop fake and pop boom towards 313 that's where i was going to get in boom 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 five minute chart the vwap's at the 311 right now so it's 9.37, there's still first five minutes, this trend is up. I'm very happy with how everything's moving. I really should have took this trade right here in about 10 seconds. I'll see my drop fake and pop, boom! But I just did not hit the buy button. I was going to buy off the ask, but I wanted it down towards 3.15, between 3.13 and 3.15. Here it comes, here it comes, the drop fake, drop fake! Bye, bye, bye. See on the five minute chart, right down close to the VWAP. That's all. That's a classic. If all these little signals and signs are set like this, this strategy is like 90 or 86% successful. All this, look at this. Take a picture of this. Click, click, click. This is picture perfect. Drop fake and pop. Boom, boom. Boom, I should have been buying right there, even 320. Here's That was the drop fake. Here comes the pop and the booms up towards 340 or 340, it would be busting over the high a day, but sometimes I like to get out between about 340 where I see resistance. 
Oh, I missed this trade. I missed this trade. Look, it starts catching its feet right here. Boom, boom, boom. Coming up, 329 on the ask. 328, 327. Stepping down a couple notches. It's just, I love the way this stock moves for some reason. I don't know, maybe I could be totally off base, but this stock is a beautiful, beautiful stock. I hope you guys all made money on this stock. I, I know a lot of you probably made money. It's just sometimes your emotions get in the way. I understand that. It will knock you out of a trade real quick. So you are you think you should have made profit, but you didn't. I know the story. Believe me, I know the story. But anyways, I am green on the day. Look at drop, fake, and pop. Boom. Loving it. Loving it. I'll see you guys tomorrow bright and early.